So, ich habe euch erzählt, dass ich... Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Inga. I'm 28 years old and I'm a German mom living in America. You can also find me on Instagram. My name is Inga Nash with an extra H. There I post daily either some stories or reels or posts. So come and check out my Instagram. Alrighty, so I also told you guys that I will do an English and a German uh, video in an interval every week. But now I feel like that I grew a little more doing this is not a really good idea and I'm trying to just, you know, mix a little bit German and English so everybody can understand. And now I'll just explain real quick in German. So, ich habe euch erzählt, dass ich jede Woche abwechselnd ein deutsches und ein englisches Video rausbringen möchte. Jetzt, wo ich größer geworden bin, finde ich es nicht mehr so eine gute Idee. Und ich würde gerne einfach Videos machen, wo ich beide Sprachen spreche. Und ich hoffe, das gefällt euch. Und wenn ihr trotzdem irgendwelche Fragen habt, lasst es mich in den Kommentaren wissen. Sorry, my battery just died, so I had to turn it for a little bit, so I can finish this video. Yeah, so this week's video is going to be about a one-year-old essential. I think you need when you have a toddler or a one-year-old uh, till two years old because I mean I can't talk about anything else so Sophia is not that old yet but I'm just gonna jump right in so first thing I think everybody should get is the IKEA high chair I'll blend it in right here what I think is good about the IKEA chair is it's easy to clean up it's not taking up a lot of room and you can reuse it if you ever have another child or just, you know, give it away because it's, I think, $15 or something. So it's not really expensive. It looks nice and yeah, I think it's like number one essential. Then I think you also should get one of those munchkin cups. Also gonna blend it in here. Also, everything I'm mentioning in this video is also going to be linked down below if you're interested to check it out. <laughs> so the Munchkin cup is really good because it's one of the only ones really that's not really spilling much and I don't really want to get Sophia like a bottle with a straw because she also started to drink out of a regular cup now. So yeah, I think it's a really good investment. It's really inexpensive and it's really good. Third thing on the list is a plasticware. So plates, plastic plates, plastic cups, plastic forks, knives, everything. We bought a set and it's this one. And we love it because you have four, a set of four of everything, so it's awesome. And Sophia is really good already with her fork and her spoon. So yeah, it's a really good help. All right, <laughs> battery died again, so now it's a little later. Anyway, let's keep going with our list. So next thing on the list I think is essential if you really have a toddler are gates, baby gates. With Sophia it's really hard, she wants to get into everything and we don't really have a lot of time to always be there and watch what she's doing. And also we want to give her some freedom to, you know, walk around and stuff. So we only give her access to certain rooms because, you know, but also we want to keep our doors open to have an airflow. So gates are a really good thing and also if you have stairs, we live in Florida and we live in a pretty small house because the area that we live in is really expensive. But my dog Heidi came. Wee! Heidi say hi! Oh, I love you too. And I don't know if you can see but Sophia is back there. Anyway, so let's keep going. Yeah, so baby gates are a huge thing I think you need, at least the ones that you can put in front of the doors or even like a little kind of like gated area. Um, we call it little prison, which I will also insert here. It's really good for when kids, you know, potty train and stuff. So they have a little area where they can pee first 
and then whenever they're more comfortable obviously advancing to a bigger area so then the next thing is a potty we got Sophia a really cute small you know not on the expensive side kind of a potty it's this one it's pink and they have it also in blue so if you like it come and check it out so the next thing is the fire tablet which is I think a lifesaver for us we're not trying to let her be on it a lot but also I think it's really educational in a lot of ways especially now at the stage she is now language is a big thing that we're trying to encourage with her so having the tablet and her listening to all the different words that we might not use in our like day to day um, is I think a really good option too and it keeps her busy while uh, my husband and I work and the thing is too we work from home so it's a little bit harder. Next thing I think is really important to have um, is a toddler pillow. We bought a backpack of two and basically switching it out and washing it and stuff. Um, Sophia loves it. It's not really that she sleeps on it but it's more to cuddle with it I guess. Um, yeah, she's like her dad, a really crazy sleeper. <laughs> I also think you should get cuddle blanket. Sophia has a bunch of them because all the blankets we got were actually gifted to us and we are rotating through them too. And Sophia loves them and always like when she gets out of bed, she brings it or in bed she cuddles with it or we play peekaboo peekaboo, whatever it's called, um, with the blanket too, so that's really cool. And then also, of course, stuffed animals. Sophia has one favorite stuffed animal, which is her kitty that she got gifted from her great-grandma. And, oh my gosh, she can't go to sleep without her meow. <laughs> she calls it bow, but you know what she means. Um, for example, when it needs to be washed or anything, like something and we didn't do it during the day she obviously gets upset oh well so then I wanted to talk about a little bit of a different kind of essentials that I think too is important and I think you know talking about also health and healthy eating we're trying to introduce Sophia to a bunch of fruits and vegetables obviously so that's majority of her food intake fruits and vegetables and then we're giving her everything we eat too but I think it's also really good to have a couple ideas so I think I'm just gonna let you know a couple snack essentials I think that are important for kids so we give Sophia a lot of times like bread and crackers because I feel bad she is in like a little stage where she likes a lot of carbs and bread and crackers so that's what we give her Ritz crackers or any crackers of any kind really you know cookies too like the graham crackers and like we have them as little cookies or animal uh you know crackers cheeses we do give her too we're trying to give it in a little moderation but you know still then <laughs> a big thing is apple pouches sophia loves them they're great if you're on the go or if you just don't have time to really give uh, the toddler a uh, proper you know sit down meal for lunch so we like to give her the pouches <laughs> then obviously like I said fruits and vegetables are really important Sophia is really into blueberries um, she likes bananas but lately she's only nib like nibbling on them and then putting them away and playing with them but she loves strawberries grapes um, and then for veggies, it's mostly we have to, you know, mix it kind of in the food. But, you know, she's a toddler, she'll get to it. Oh, she actually does love olives. Olives she goes crazy for. Then also cheese sticks. Cheese sticks are so easy and the pull string cheese is the best. Sophia loves it and, you know, <laughs> gives her a little bit of snack in between and then also what we just found out which is really what Sophia loves a veggie stick chip um, yeah so we let her eat that too sometimes um, or what we also love are the little rice cakes here in America we have them also in different flavors and not just 
you know, plain or yogurt and cho or chocolate topping. But here we also have like apple cinnamon, chocolate, sea salt, like a bunch of things anyway. So she loves them too. And then I guess, you know, like everybody knows some toys to play with. Sophia right now is in the state she doesn't like her toys too much. Maybe we should also just get her a couple more advanced toys, but you know, like she, whenever we get her toys, she doesn't really want to play with them. She wants to get into other stuff in the house that she is not supposed to and play with that. So for now, we're like pretty good with not getting her too much toys. And like I said, we have a small house, small area not much room for a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so that was it for this week. If you have any essentials that I forgot, please let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, I'm gonna say bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time there's a new video out. And otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye.